In the monthly gardening series of videos, today we will look at the California garden in the month of July. This month, the garden has a lot of summer plants growing and it's one of the best months for harvesting a lot of vegetables. This video is divided into four sections. We will first take a look at the garden tour. We will take a look at the harvest that we made. We will then take a look at what's growing in the California garden in the month of July. And finally, we will look at some things that you need to do in your garden this month. After harvesting our red onions, we planted some emerald okra in this bed. And this is the okra that has been growing for a while now and it's producing excellent okra pods. This is the uh, tomato bed. As you can see, we're growing a lot of varieties of tomatoes and this is what I call my tomato jungle. In this bed we had garlic harvested and then we planted some bush beans. This is our corn bed, the triple crown hybrid variety and we harvested a lot of corn from this bed. We then move on to the peppers and eggplant bed which produced a lot of poblano peppers and some delicious eggplants. Now let's look at some of the harvest that we made. Hyacinth beans, we've been growing these uh, beans for the past few months now and they're producing very well in July. As you can see here, the harvest looks pretty good. These beans are eaten with the pods whole and they taste absolutely delicious. We also planted a lot of bush beans in 5 gallon containers and it was a pretty good option. We were able to harvest a lot of bush beans from these containers for about a month or maybe a bit more but uh, they do stop producing after some time because they are bush type of beans unlike beans that are whining beans which produce for a much longer time but for the space that they use uh, this is a very good option you can plant about three plants in every five gallon container and that will produce a lot of beans for you now let's look at asparagus beans we posted a video on this uh, last week where we showed you how to grow these beans and we were able to harvest a lot of asparagus beans uh, through the month of July. These beans produce a lot of these long uh, beans also called yard long beans and we were able to get a great harvest from uh, this container of uh, asparagus beans. We also harvested a lot of blueberries. We have a small blueberry bush growing in a container this is the sharp blue variety of blueberry which produces a small to medium blueberries and for the most part our blueberries are quite small but uh, they are very sweet and they are absolutely delicious and in the month of July they produce a lot of blueberries that can be harvested. Here you can see the harvest they are fresh delicious and very sweet. Although summer is not the best season for growing carrots we did plant this atomic red variety of carrot in this uh, whiskey barrel container and in the month of July they had uh, matured enough to be harvested. So we went ahead and harvested all the carrots from this whiskey barrel container and as you can see here the atomic red carrots look very beautiful and they are very delicious as well. We also had some glass gem corn that we were growing in a container a five gallon container and by just removing the husk a little bit you can see whether or not the corn is ready and this is how it looks like. We harvested a lot of eggplants as well. This is the purple eggplant variety and we harvested a lot of eggplants not only from the raised beds. This is the one that's growing in the raised bed. As you can see here lots of fruits. I had to hand pollinate almost every flower that you see that's converted to fruit and once you hand pollinate your eggplants you can expect to get a very good harvest so I highly recommend that you do that and you can keep harvesting them uh, so that they produce more and more eggplants make sure you're fertilizing very well throughout the growing season make sure you give your plants a lot of Epsom salt so that they produce really good quality eggplants now grapes is the most exciting fruit we grew in our garden this year and after two years uh, finally we got grapes 
and uh, as you can see here beautiful looking grapes this is the thompson seedless variety of grapes and initially when we harvested the grapes uh, they were a little green and tangy to taste but as the season progressed we got a lot more sunlight the grapes started turning yellow and here you can see these were one of the sweetest grapes that we harvested uh, during the mid season and finally towards the end of july the grapes started turning a little bit red reddish yellow and as you can see here uh, this is the type of grapes we harvested and uh, these were the sweetest grapes i mean the sun was shining and the grapes were turning into raisins they were drying on the plant and uh, as you can see here these red looking grapes amazing taste and very sweet grapes so i highly recommend that you grow this grape variety this year we had a bitter gourd plants growing in containers as you can see here it was growing pretty well for a small container medium sized container you can say and these are the bitter gourd uh, fruits that we are going to be harvesting now and you can harvest uh, these throughout the summer season they produce a lot of uh, these uh, gourds and they are very easy to grow in your home garden in the month of july we also harvested a lot of okra we were growing okra the giant variety in this whiskey barrel container and then we also had some growing in the ground now this is the one that we were growing in our whiskey barrel container this is the nombo giant variety and we harvested a lot of okra from this container and as you can see here very nice looking pods quite long compared to the regular okra and uh, very good tasting as well so if you haven't tried growing this okra variety do try growing it and we also grew okra in our raised beds this is the dark green variety of okra much more soft and tender compared to the giant okra variety and also tastes very nice so this is the other variety that we grew and we eat a lot of okra so all this okra really proved to be very helpful and we harvested our red onion sets that we planted in december and it took about 6 to 7 months for this onion plant to grow and as you can see here uh, they are pretty large heads and at this stage they can be harvested and dried now i did notice that i overwatered some of these onions and that's what i posted in my other video as well but anyway great looking harvest and these are our poblano peppers these peppers grew very well in this 5 gallon container and we were able to harvest a lot of these peppers now once again poblano peppers are one of my favorite pepper varieties because they have the best balance of heat and taste and these are the dragon cayenne pepper this is a hot pepper variety that i'm growing for the first time this year and i'm very happy with the taste and the heat of this pepper it's actually a very hot pepper and we also harvested our salad rose radish now summer is not the optimum time to grow radish but uh, this radish variety the salad rose grew very well during july and we were able to harvest this as you can see here large radish and we tried to grow this radish under a partial shade so that it doesn't get scorched from the heat of the sun and it did pretty well as you can see here the harvest looks pretty good and this is a filler vegetable to grow if you have containers this is a great vegetable to grow in your garden and it's a easy and quick harvest strawberries summer is not complete without a mega strawberry harvest so we harvested this chandler variety as you can see here from this container we were able to get a lot of strawberries in july July was probably the month we harvested the most strawberries from our garden including this other uh, variety the Ozark Beauty we were able to harvest a lot of uh, strawberries of all varieties during the month of July and hand picked strawberries from your garden are so delicious they are always very sweet you just wait for the right time to harvest them and they are absolutely delicious as well Summer vegetables are not complete without tomatoes 
and july was the month where we harvested the most number of tomatoes the ones that you can see here are the honey gold variety of tomatoes that we are harvesting and this plant produced a lot of tomatoes as you can see here beautiful looking tomatoes this is the rutgers tomato again nice looking tomatoes and it's a heirloom variety it produces very good tasting tomatoes so all in all, we got great tomatoes, including uh, this cherry tomato that you see here, this uh, beef steak tomato, and a lot of other tomatoes that we grew this season. You can see here, beautiful looking tomatoes. Now let's take a look at what's growing in our California garden. We have cucumbers growing that will produce very soon. We have a lot of fruit trees that are producing fruits now. So this is the white arabian guava and if you have watched our previous videos you might have realized that this is a great tasting variety of guava and during this season it is producing a lot of guavas small guavas that will ripen into a good tasting fruit our pomegranates are also growing very well uh, this year we had some chill hours uh, due to which the plant produced a lot of pomegranates as you can see here and as the season gets cooler the pomegranates will start maturing and these will be ready to harvest by around end of September, October and November. So this is the wonderful variety of pomegranate and it's growing pretty well. This is our bear's lime tree or the Persian limes and they're growing pretty well. We are getting a lot of fruits. As you can see here, this plant is quite loaded with fruits. This is a very delicious tasting lime and it's very easy to grow as well. Our Moringa trees have started flowering again and we just hope that some of these flowers get uh, converted into fruits. The Moringa pods are very delicious to eat and we are just hoping that we get some pods just like we did last year. Our Dancy Tangerine tree is now quite large and it did produce a lot of tangerines last year but uh, what we are seeing here is that this year also we are getting a lot of tangerines this is the mexican white guava plant and it's loaded with guavas as usual as it does every year we get a lot of guavas from this plant and for the size of this plant this plant is quite loaded and it will be loaded with heavy fruits by around October. Now let's look at what are the things to do in your garden. Compost tea. Make sure that you're brewing your compost tea with fish emulsion and seaweed and feed it to all your plants, especially your container plants which need a lot of nutrients. And take care of your corn plants. If you're growing corn plants, you need to make sure it's pest free and I will quickly tell you how to do that. You just need some neem oil that you will mix with water and a small sprayer like this. This is one of the most easy sprayers to use. And what you basically do is take one tablespoon of neem oil and mix it with water. And once done, you need to charge up your sprayer by using the hand pump that's provided. What this does is it builds up pressure so that your sprayer starts spraying. And then you go to your corn silks. Make sure the corn silks are completely drenched with this neem oil solution. And if you remember our aloe vera plant from last uh, month's video, it has now grown quite big and needs transplanting. So we are transplanting this into this small container. And if needed, we will transplant it into a larger container. And don't forget to make sure that you're making your compost every month. As you can see here, we are collecting our guava leaves. If you have little helpers in your house, they love doing this. Collect all your leaves and then put them into a compost bin. Make sure you're always composting. So there we have it, folks. Uh, that was our video on the monthly gardening series for July. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please do leave them below and do check out our other videos as well. We'll see you again soon. 
हैप्पी गार्डनिंग